There was a time in my life when I thought I'd never have clear skin. I had painful cystic acne all over my face, and I dreamed of the day I could look in the mirror and finally see clear skin. After a long journey of learning to love myself despite what my skin looked like and adopting a healthier lifestyle, I'm grateful to say my dream came true. I've had consistently clear skin for several years, and this is something I don't take for granted. That's why I'm committed to practicing healthy habits, like having a consistent skincare routine. Today I want to walk you through my simple at-home facial. This is the routine I followed when I still had acne and acne scars, and it's the one I continue to follow to this day to maintain clear skin. I started wearing makeup at a very young age, and the one thing I wish someone would have told me back then is the importance of removing makeup properly at the end of the day. Honestly, if I could go back in time, I'd probably choose to not wear any until I was older, but at the very least, removing it properly would have saved me a lot of trouble. I start my facial off by cleansing my skin thoroughly. If I'm wearing makeup, I'll remove it with an oil like jojoba or sweet almond oil, and then I'll go in with my go-to foaming face wash. This is the All Clear Mint Cleanser by Banish, which is one of my favorite skincare brands. They're all about using natural ingredients in their products, and they're really big on promoting skin positivity. I love when I come across their posts over on Instagram and see pictures of real people on their acne journey embracing their natural skin. If you're currently dealing with acne, I definitely recommend following their page over on Instagram because it's so encouraging to know that you're not alone. This cleanser is sulfate-free and it has soothing ingredients like chamomile and cucumber. I love the way my skin feels so healthy and refreshingly clean every time I use it. After I cleanse my skin, I move on to exfoliating my face with my all-time favorite. This is the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask, which is also by Banish. It contains pumpkin fruit, which has naturally occurring alpha hydroxy acids that help exfoliate the skin in a very gentle, non-abrasive way. I remember I used to exfoliate my face with sugar and olive oil, and it left my skin feeling baby soft, so I thought I was really doing something good for my skin until I learned how harsh this was for the face. Sugar is made of large granules that can create tears in the skin, which can potentially lead to irritation and other skin problems. These scrubs are generally safe to use on the body, but it's best to use something less abrasive for the delicate skin on our face. We can't go back and change the past, but we can always learn and do better, right? So for the last few years, I've been using this mask to exfoliate. And this is actually the product that helped me fade all the hyperpigmentation I had after acne. So if you have red marks left from acne, I highly recommend trying this out. You'll definitely feel a tingling sensation when you first apply this, but this simply means the alpha hydroxy acids are making their way into your skin and doing their job of removing those surface dead skin cells to help reveal fresh new skin. So I leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes, and then I rinse it off. Now I move on to steaming my face. I used to have a facial steaming device, but I got rid of it during one of my many decluttering sessions. I've realized the less things I own, the lighter and better I feel. Plus, I can get the same benefits of a facial steamer by doing it myself. I simply bring some water to a boil and then transfer this to a large bowl. And sometimes I like to add a little bit of aromatherapy to this, so today I added a few drops of frankincense essential oil, which is very calming and grounding. 
and then I drape a towel over my head and let the steam do its job. Steaming helps to increase blood flow and it also brings a lot of moisture to the skin. You just want to make sure you don't overdo it. 5 to 10 minutes is really all you need to reap the benefits of steaming. And I love using moments like these to practice mindfulness. I focus on my breath, feel the steam, smell the sense of any ingredients I added, and really appreciate the peace of this present moment. I love applying a mask right after steaming. It's the perfect time because steaming helps the skin better absorb whatever we put on it. The mask I apply will depend on what I feel my skin needs at that particular moment. When I had acne, I would either do a detox mask to help speed up the healing process, or I'd do a soothing mask if my skin felt irritated or if I was experiencing pain. I used to say it felt like my acne had a heartbeat because it would throb, especially with breakouts right along the jawline. Those were so painful. And a mask that I've always found soothing is combining oatmeal and honey. Oatmeal has anti-inflammatory properties and honey is antibacterial, so this combination is perfect for acne-prone skin. Both of these are very nourishing and they also help to retain moisture. So I'll leave this on for a good 15 minutes and then I'll rinse it off. My current favorite toner is the Rosewater Toner by the brand Heritage Store. It's made with minimal ingredients, one of them being hyaluronic acid which provides deep hydration. Hyaluronic acid is actually produced naturally in the skin, but as we age, our bodies produce less of it. That's why I like to use products like this that contain this ingredient. I've also been using the moisturizer by the same brand. I love that it's so lightweight, but deeply moisturizing. So this is gonna be the perfect moisturizer for me during the hot summer months, which are right around the corner. It has niacinamide, which is a form of vitamin B3, and this helps minimize the appearance of pores and balances the skin tone. It also leaves my skin feeling so soft. No matter what your current skin situation is, I hope you always remember that you are beautiful exactly as you are. I hope you enjoyed my at-home facial routine and I hope you found value in it. All the steps and products I use will be linked in the description box below, so be sure to check it out. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.